Well, it is lovely to have your company. Now, if you didn't join us at five o'clock, it was a double launch. So where were you? But if you're with us now, it's great to have you aboard. Now, those that have been watching and buying, I can tell you we are off to the busiest, busiest start. 60% of the one-day special already gone. So if you just joined us, this is the first time you're seeing it. Of course, we've got John here. I'm going to say a good evening to a John again, because if you haven't seen us in the previous hour, <laughs> it's the hello. first time some of you might be saying hello, John. Hello. I, I, it's so long since it's I've seen you. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> but to be fair, it's so long since I've seen you without a screen between us. So, oh, I know. You, know, I know. you need a that. stencil on that screen now, because the more you spray, there the actually, more frosty it's going. There is actually going. some spray glue down there now. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you'll know what I mean if you watch the earlier out. Now, the one day special, 19 dies in total. Let me just grab these boards to show you, because, oh, John, these are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. There is so much that you can do with the dies themselves. But when you first look at the die set, John, initially you think, yeah, I'm getting a, a decent amount of metal there for my money. There's, I can see a lot of options there. But it's not until we show you what you can actually achieve with these dies that it really hits home. John, for anybody that didn't see the earlier hour, what do you want to say about this particular die I, set? I think I, I've tried to put in as much detail and options and variability as I can with this die, die set. I've almost pulled out every stop I know or every... Not every trick I know, because that's not the right way to say it, but you take that five inch die set and this is just a few of the combinations that you can get. These are some of the basic ones. So this doesn't include, so obviously you can have that centre panel with the background. You can have yep. the border on its own. You could have the border with just the circle out of the middle. You can have the different shapes in it. The centre can come out. Yep. There's got to be 20 or 30 different combinations. But I didn't want to over-egg it and make it look like, oh, wow. I just want to show that the, the, the basic pieces that you can cut just with one pass almost. And there you've got those beautiful florals and you've got the leaves as well. And I love the fact that you've got the solid and the open leaf as well. You John. have. You've not, had to, not got two sets. So you've got the solid and the um, sort of ho holy or open yeah. flower for seven different flowers on the plate, seven sizes of it. Then I've done the same with the leaves and you've got a left and a right, open yeah. and closed, and then you've got a mini version again, open Love and closed. It. Use them separately, use them together, link them. Then you've got the beautiful Mayfield corners, which is the most detailed, intricate, fine corners I think at dies I've ever done. They are really intricate. Be you've got something like in there, I think it's nearly, I think one of them is over like, one of the things is over like 1.2 mil and you're not supposed to be able to have lines closer than three mils. And if I just bring the board back in of the dies, you can see you get four separate corners there. Not one that you have to cut four times if you want to do a whole frame. One pass will cut you four corners. And when it comes to the samples, John, I mean, I've just been uh, rooting through those just to sort of see what else I can find because there's so many here. Your team have worked so, so hard. They have the angels. I mean, I call them the angels because they help me as a favour. There's no sort of formal thing. They just help me out. They are my angels. But I know, I mean, we all, we, everybody says this. I know when they've loved it because they've made so many. But I've just been blown away with all the different variations I've had. I wouldn't think that that was made with the same die set as the next one you're going to bring on. I know. This next one, I've literally fallen in love with it. It is by Julie. I think it's the colours as well. How pretty is that? That just screams springtime to me. It, it really, really does. And she's matched it in with other dyes. She's matched it in with the mandala and folding it up. She's matched things together. But there is a picture frame. Yeah. You know, using the, the centre dies offset. I think that's such a beautiful idea. It really it, is. It, each time it looks differently. And then when you sort of bring the corners into it and the flowers, you get something like this from Barbara Deer. Look so at this. That is using the ODS Oops, wrong way up. to its extreme. So you've got the frame inside, but if you actually untie that ribbon, it folds out again. Does it? Yeah. I did not even realise that. So if you untie the bow, it folds once more. <gasps> so, oh, wow. Look so at that. So she's used... But you would think in that, to be honest, personally, as a die cutter, I would think that in that card she's used four or five different sets. She hasn't. Everything in that is that made is using the One Day Special. You just need to make sure you get stickers the right way yes, up, John. Yes, I've just realised that. That's why I got that. the card upside down. <laughs> Sometimes, you see, it's, I look at that, I think, I've got it right way up this time. Oh, another very pretty one here. This, again, this is another one of Barbara's. Barbara's worked hard, hasn't she? Look Barbara at that. has pulled out. Barbara is an absolute angel. She's worked so hard. But again, who would think of taking the square and elongating it? But that doesn't look anything like... Um, 
the actual with the frame around it. It looks so different. Look at that one. Now, who did that, John? Now, that's a really large card. Can you guess who did that one? I can guess it's upside down again. <laughs> that's... Look! It's me! Sticker, oh, it's upside it down, card. Sorry. Well, I don't normally put them on my own, but again, <laughs> that to me is so different to say that was made with the same die set. <laughs> that but that's beautiful. just using the flowers, the actual die, the outline die, and, th and three of the dies from the centre. It's not even using everything, but we can go that far with it. And I know that's your absolute favourite. I've got a feeling I'm amazed that, that one this. might not be coming home with me somehow. <laughs> if I, just that think, had a K I just think it's than gorgeous. An F, you'd have had that one. Well, for anybody that missed it, the beautiful fuchsia there has been made from the flower. The flower dies, hasn't it? The it has. Oh, yeah. do you know? You wouldn't think, would you? But look, look at the card as well. The ribbon threaded through the frame there. If you want to use the ribbon through the slots in the framework, you can. But equally. You don't have to thread the ribbon at all. It looks just stunning with the cardstock showing through. Beautiful. Absolutely. Do you know, I didn't seriously mean to just keep picking up lots from Barbara. It's just there's so many beautiful samples here. And, I mean, you could grab anything. One of Helen's here, look. Completely different. Completely different, but just as beautiful. You would Actually, think on that one that you'd bought a doily die to do that. You would, wouldn't You'd you? think that would be a separate doily die. That is stunning as well. From, from some places, that actually would be a separate one. And, you know, I've just got to show this one from Helen, uh, sorry, Leslie, because this is a very different way of using the frame. Who would have thought about cutting into the frame? Isn't that effective? Just Beautiful. Just using, yeah. Love it. Such a great idea of just using the strips from it. Love it. Just to add a little bit of interest to a beautiful background. Brilliant. Well, just eight, uh, sorry, an £8.70, just nineteen ninety eight is the flexi buy price. One now, one in a month's time. Oh, it's so busy out there. 225842 is the item number. There you can see everything you're getting. Stock-wise, we are so busy. Over 60% has already gone. This really is essentially the launch. Yes, it's a double launch, but we've lost so much stock already. Do not hesitate. Now, we've got more for you as well. We have, of course, the press cut dies as well. Now, they are available individually and there are individual savings look at the amount of dies you're getting here from 11 right up to 26 in one of those packs now as a full collection all those savings are carried over so that's 18 pounds in total and then on top of that we're going to give you another 12 pounds saving now if you're a freedom member you're getting an extra 21.99 so in total you'd be saving 39.99 so it brings the price down to 89.95 delivered as a freedom member you are in total getting 105 dies. Now you've got your plain edge, you've got your stitched edge, you've got three flexes as well, £29.98. So that means anything else you're adding into your basket, you can split three ways as well. 995040 is the item number. Yes, if you've got a favourite, you can certainly go for your favourite. I've just got to show you one or two samples again here because. Do you know the very clever design team and how they've worked with these? So using the diamonds in this one, very, very effective indeed. Um, I'm just going to find another. I did show it earlier, but it's just a complete comparison. I think this is so clever. Using the diamonds there, very, very contemporary, very, or retro, it could, you could class as. You know, very clever use with the ovals there to form that flower. Do you know, your gift boxes also with the ovals there using the flowers that you may already have with your dyes really think out of the box sorry think of the bag instead because that's what you get in there do you know and then i've just got to show you the octagon let me just find it you see i've buried so many samples now it's ridiculous let me just grab oh that's another one with the ovals i love absolutely love it that would work either way up as well Oh, now and then. That one's I'm spoiled for choice here, John. By just cutting three dies three times. This one. That one's three dies three times. That is such an but amazing I think effect. There's a video it? on YouTube showing you how to make that, that one. That is very, very clever. And the octagons are included as well. I, I know there's many, many more samples here. Uh, you know, just spoilt for choice. There you are. So if you want to go for the collection, 995040. Now, we all got very excited when we knew something was a returning item because, well, Last time we saw these, they literally flew out the door and we are very, very busy on these again. You've got the Is Ink. These are Seth Apter Pigment Inks. There's something very special about them that I'm going to let John tell you about in a second. But I've got to say, when they're gone, they're gone. Over 20% has already gone. John, just remind everybody about these. I'm going to open one of the bottles well, again. What you've so actually got is a beautiful pigment ink. So we know pigment ink is opaque, 
highly pigmented. It's almost like pure pigment in these bottles. You get it in the glass bottle, you get the brush with it, you know, and they've not reinvented the wheel. It's almost like using nail varnish packaging. It isn't. Please don't use nail varnish. Please don't use that. The unique things about this is it is water-based. Yeah. So rather than being a solvent base or an, a plastic base, they are water-based, which means that you can mix them with water, you can water them down, you can mix them with each other, but they're also permanent on every surface. So you can see the card there. That's it painted directly onto brass, then onto card, then onto a mirror tile. So they will be permanent on metal, wood, glass, plastic, concrete, acetate, cardboard. Um, you can paint pebbles with them. You know, if you want to do the pebble art, and you'll get those beautiful opaque colours. But even on this one, you can paint onto fabric, and the difference being that you can actually water it down. So those pigments have made that. You see the white sails? No, that's just a How hard is it to get example. a water-based white paint? that is beautiful opaque white, but that works with water, mixes with water. Or here, this is again using water and the inks straight onto metal. No gesso, nothing. That is just a plain metal tin. That's mind-blowing, isn't it? And that was just straight it? on. All I've done is stamp on it and had to heat emboss to keep the stamping to stay, but then hand-painted on. This one, two layers of acetate painted directly behind and on top of the acetate. But look at those clouds. How else can you get those I on know. glass or plastic or a sheet Looks of cheap acetate? beautiful. And the clever use of the lights behind there as well. Just, oh, such a And what a I love effect. is, if you look at that, how many paints can you colour in acetate with where when you light it, you see the light and not the bulb? Yeah, very true. Because you're not seeing the bulb. If, if you actually turn that card round, Catherine, show the back, you see the bulbs. Yeah. OK. Turn it the other way around, you see the light. You do. Because the paints are more opaque than so actual clever. card is. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, you can grab these while we've got them. Remember, when they're gone, they're gone. Two payments of £32.48. That's for the whole collection. 20 colours there. I would buy those just to have them on a shelf to look pretty. Right, just a reminder of the dispatch date. It's just three days' time, 29th of January. Um, not sure if I said that at the beginning. I think we did, but just to remind everybody, just in case... Can I just and if you the, just joined us as well on the inks as well, um, Crafts Two are actually going to send them out in a storage case for you. Really? Yeah. So there's, that, that's completely free. That you know that we've not added it into the price anywhere, because they're glass. They're actually going to send them out in one of these oh, plastic that's a bonus, A6 isn't it? boxes for everybody. So you've actually got a storage box for them as well, coming with them if you get the full. Oh, how wonderful! Only if you get the full set. Yeah. But it, it's easier for them to pack, but they said we might as well just throw that in and make it easier for everyone. That is very nice. And uh, you see everything's thought about for you as customers here at Achanda. And most of you are going for the full collection, of course. Now, we have got something else for you. Amazing value on this one. We've got a great discount for you. Look at the saving. 13.98 is the saving here. Just 9.99 is going to get you these 3D embossing folders. You do not have to choose. You're going to get all three. And I've got some, uh, I don't know if it's aluminium or it's a craft metal anyway, that we've got here as well, that you can see the effect of each of the embossing folders. I do have some sample cards as well, but just to show the detail there, if I just kind of lay that back a little bit, hopefully you can see or appreciate the depth of that. Beautiful. You've got the rose there as well, which is stunning. And there we have, uh, which, that must be the quilted blocks, that one. That started Ooh, out like being my favourite, but I went to the braided lines in the end as being my favourite. Did you? Yeah, that's so, the one I yeah, the, waves. the most. Well, I can show a sample of each, actually, here. So there we can see one of the embossing folders. That's the quilted one. That's very, very... Those fresh colours, again, very pretty. There we can see the rose in the background as well. And let's just bring in... Oh, there we are, the braided lines. Beautiful. Only 9 99 for all of them, 048053. And then finally, we've got another bargain for you, actually. Now, massive saving on this one as well. Now, grab it while you can. 
I don't think you'll see this come back. Now you've got stamps and you've also got embossing folder here. Now the embossing folder is behind the stamp. I'm not going to open the packet, but if I just turn these around so you can see what you're getting. So with this one you're getting thank you is the embossing folder. You can see the Cleese stamp there with the text at the bottom. You are saving almost £30 on this bundle alone. All three of them again, that's, all you, that's what you're getting. Just £3.33 each per set. Beautiful. 264003 is the item number. Look at that. That is lovely, isn't it? Grab a bargain while you can. Just 9.99. Now, the Mandala collection, I can let you know, if you were watching the earlier hour and you wanted this, I did say grab it while you can. It is now sold out. We cannot bring this back. There will not be any more stock. This was a limited edition. A little bit of stock was left for this show. It has gone. We cannot get any more. So well done for those that did check your baskets out and you grabbed this as well. Fabulous. Now, of course, it's all about the one-day special. We are proving to be very, very busy. I'll just remind everybody that, of course, the quickest way, the quickest route is to go to the website and order there or use the app. But if you're using the phone lines, please be patient because I've got no doubt that we're going to get busy again. Now, something else that's very busy are those inks as well. If you want those, grab them because when they're gone, they're gone. But when it comes to the one-day special, you can see 19 dies in total there. What you can achieve with these is just incredible. Now, already two-thirds of the stock of the one-day special is gone. Item number 225-842 is the item number. Whew. Oh, it's busy, John. It is. It's, I, it, I, 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 yeah. I've lost my words. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't. Well, right. I think we can go to demonstration, and I'm loving the colours you've got there again. Right. Well, I thought we'd, we'd bring it in with the what we were doing in the earlier show. So I'm going to bring it all together. Okay. But I thought what I'd do this time is I'm going to show you the flowers. Right. Because we've talked about the flowers, but I haven't. And again, I've left bits in them. <laughs> Which means I was crafting right up this till this morning on with these. So what you've got is it's one of my standard plates. Okay. And it's got the corners notched. There isn't a stamp to go with this. There won't be, because oh. obviously we've got the missing pieces. Oh, of course. Yes, you've got But the I details. still use the same pattern with the missing corners. And the corners were done originally to work with the stamps. But what okay. we actually found was as well, this set size is A6. Yeah. So it means it fits four times on a piece of A4. So if I just grab a piece of A4 card, just piece it randomly, you can see it fits four times. So yeah. one, two, three, four. Now, that means that from this, you get 14 pieces, which gives you seven sort of wow. flowers or pieces together from it. So from each sheet of card, you're going to get 14 times four, which I can't do in my head apart 14, from 40, 20, 40, 56. So you get 56 pieces from one A4 piece yes. of card. Yes. Um, so I always do that. And the other reason is, if you look at it, if these were individual dies, first of all, there'd be a nightmare. Can you imagine you'd lose those? Yeah. I would lose those straight away. But secondly, they can't be this close when they're separate. Yes. Because yeah. when they're separate, they have to have metal rim around of them. Of course. So it would actually be an A6 and a half sheet of metal. So the die would be 50% more expensive. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that's why I do them on the plate. Do you know, that's a really because good way of explaining about more, that as well. It makes it more value and it's easier to do. So all I need to do is, and to do the best way to do this, I do, is I cut them in two colours. OK. So I'm just going to run through, first of all, the lilac colour. So this is just a lilac Crafts 2 uh, linen card. It's a very pretty colour. Because I love that. And then I'll run through a white. So if you want to cover something for a minute just while I run that one OK. Through. Well, I'm going to remind everybody about our wonderful offer here as well. So, um... A quarter of the stock has gone on this. Now you're getting the craft artist glue, you're getting the two applicators as well. Now you can see, well they've got the lids on at the moment, but they have got the fine tip on there. They've also got the needle in there which stops the, the bottles blocking. What I love about these, oh, let me just show you actually, because to me this is very, very important. I know John pointed this out last week, but it is very, very important. I don't know if I can show you because the glue's in the lid. The needle comes, I think it's in five millimetres below. It comes about below, five mil below into the, the actual top end of the tube. So that it means that there is no glue sitting in that tube at all. Yeah. If you actually unscrew the white bit, so you hold the purple and unscrew the white, you'll actually see the pin pulls out, Ooh. the pin goes all the way, and then yeah. you get that fine. So that it cannot clog yeah. because there's nowhere for it to clog. 
What you've also got is if you unscrew the purple section, that actually screws on. That stops what is effectively what's ah. inside is a hypodermic. So you've actually got a hypodermic like you'd have in a hypodermic yeah. needle. Now, the purple screws that on so it stops you. If you squeeze too hard, and the bottles are designed to be quite tough so you can't squeeze too hard, yeah, it won't pop the top off because that hypodermic is held on with a screw rather than previously, in bottles I've had, you squeeze too hard, the hypodermic pops off, there's nothing holding yeah. it, it just clicks in. So it's been thought through on every element and it screws on thing. And of course we put the glue in as well to fill it you up have. for you. Two applicators, one pot of glue, very generous, 9.99, 478, And I know John, John does uh, recommend a tiny little bit of water when you're filling those applicators just to make the glue more running because it's such a good, strong, thick glue as well. Now, something else that's very, very busy this hour are these, the embossing folder set of three. Birds on the line. You've also got the stamps in there, don't forget. 9.99, half the stock has gone. 264003, that is a real bargain for you. It certainly is. Oh, wow. How are you getting on, John? Do you need right. any more time? No, I've got the lilac flowers out, so I'm just going to cut the white. So I'm going to clean that out. Very carefully clean my dye out. <laughs> What's the other reason I actually like having them in a single plate? Because yes. I can actually... It's, it's far easier and quicker to clean. I can just run... If you're a brush person, run my sort of three-in-one tool over. So I'm just going to cut the white, but while that's running through, I can show you what I mean about solid and separate so what you actually get is you get this four petal flower which obviously you know half of the design team saw straight away as being um they saw these as being fuchsias so you can yeah. actually see the fuchsia petal in there if i shape that can you see the fuchsia petal there's oh, the fuchsia. You know, it's it, designed it's perfect, just like it, that. John? So what I need to do is just get the white flowers out. So if it's something you want to cover a second while I just okay. take the white version well, out. Something else we are extremely busy on is the Is Ink inks. Now, 40% of the stock has already gone. When they're gone, they're gone. We are looking at details for the full collection here. So you've got... Basically, you've got your blues at the top there. You've got the pinks and the purples. You've got your metallics. You've got blues and greens and yellows in there as well. You've got those beautiful sort of copper, silver, the black in there. The whole collection, 20 colours. And we've just found out as well, they will arrive in a beautiful storage box for you as well because they're glass bottles. Let me just open one of these up again. I'm going to go for a different colour every time. This is a really lovely colour. So these are not nail varnish. Don't ever try and use them as that. These are water-based, but they will stay permanently on things like your chrome, your brass, your card, your mirror, your metal, your fabric, do you know, in fact, all those different surfaces. So we're talking porous and non-porous, aren't we, John? Say again, sorry. Porous and non-porous surfaces, porous that's what we're talking. Porous and non-porous surfaces. So it's the elements that are in there. I mean, I do not know how Aladine, which is a company that makes icing, I don't, genuinely don't know. They won't tell me how they make these things work because a water-based product should not stick onto a non-porous surface. No. I mean, I've actually got here, this is the storage box, yeah? Yeah. So this is the colour you, was it that one or did you have the light blue? I which picked colour? up the blue this time, but it doesn't really matter yeah. which one you go for. But when you put this onto a plastic box, so a plastic surface, what should happen is this should ball up, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No. It's ridiculous, That's isn't it. it? So that hasn't resisted. That should be in little balls of... Yeah. If I put on a, a spray of something yeah. wet or I put something yeah, it wet on... Yeah, it would just puddle it pool, wouldn't watch. it? I can colour in my box. And when it's dry, that's it. It's done. And we can see those different surfaces on the sample cards that we've got here as well. We've got finished samples here. Just to look at the cards, so brass, card and mirror are on the sample cards there. In my hand, I've got fabric. I just love that. Fabric. And my favourite, and John did this, I think this is amazing. Tin. No gesso. That genuinely is tin. You can see you that. It's got a lid on that, it. It actually is just a... It's a metal tin. It's like a, a biscuit tin, mirror surface. That was the surface. And I just stamped on and heat embossed. And then I just coloured over the top using those wow. inks and water. 
And look how fine the detail is that you can paint in there as well. Well, I've I painted it with a water brush. Yeah, amazing detail. Well, very, very busy. Again, when it's gone, it's gone. Two payments of £32.48 pence for the whole collection. And yours will arrive in your storage box as well. 533388. Are you ready, John? Yes, not Wonderful. a problem. So, we'll hand back to you. I've cut these out in pink and in the lilac and white. And what I wanted to show you was just how much, from one A5 sheet or two A6 sheets of different, of two colours, how many pieces we get. Wow. So that's everything you're getting from putting that die through twice. Obviously, and you get the tear. So if you want, you can save your teardrop pieces for something. Well, they'd make I know little petals who, on their own, wouldn't they? they? They would, actually. You could. I mean, yeah, you'd have more patience than I, but... Do you know, that's the sort of thing I would actually do, I, and I especially know, with those applicators. You, yeah. I can see you doing that. So what I can do is then, I've cut them in two colours. Yeah. And this is the easiest way to make yourself a simple full flower up. Okay. So you could use spray glue or you could use, just make sure it's flowing. So I could use that or I can use my fine applicator because I could never go round like that before. So fine. Oh, they're just brilliant. They're worth the weight in gold, those applicators. They, they are. Well, it, it's funny because I've tried different fine tip applicator bottles before. Yeah. Genuinely. You know, we've done some before and I've used them for a couple of weeks. And then I kind of lose patience. And it's like, oh, I'll just grab the And I find myself using the glue bottle again. Yeah. The first thing is, ever since we launched these back in September, and again, anyone who's watched Craft Cave sort of live or any of the videos I've done, this is what I pick up straight yeah. away. I mean, I have now got like six of them. But We've that's had great me. feedback from people who've bought them or other guests that have got them as well, that have purchased and used them. And it's just, I use it all the time, yeah. genuinely. And what I've also found is my glue consumption, which is probably not good for our craft artist glue, has dropped through the floor. Yes, because you're not wasting nearly as much, I'm not wasting much, anywhere you? near as much. I slightly water it down because the yeah. glue in the craft artist is so thick in acrylic. Um, and I'm using far, far less. And all I do is when it starts to get about a third empty, I just add another little bit of water and top it up to the glue in the just top. Just give it a good shake. And I never give it a good shake, and I never let it get less than a third full, uh, than two thirds full. Really? Yeah, because yeah, that way it flows it, yeah. the best. But all I do then is, so I put them on top of each other. But you just. Oh, that's so pretty. And not too mix feminine and again, match John. The colours. Sorry. It's not too feminine again either. I would it, gladly put that onto a male it card. It really as could well. work on a men's card, but again, I'm just going to shape them. But here's some I made earlier. But you can just see, all I do is take the petal and pull it over my finger, just like that. And you've Very got that easy. double layer of card, which actually makes it easier. So you can use them as the solid, you can use them as the holy one. But when you use them together, and just cutting twice just gives you the most yeah, beautiful does. looking Aww. flower. So you can see there, it, it, to me it's so different. And again, you could use it solid. But I really like that. It is. It's gorgeous. And make a box, a bag, everything to match, gift tag, the whole caboodle. Everything. 70% uh, of the one-day special has now gone 19 dies in total, but far more than 19 combinations, depending on how you work with those dies, how you put them together, how you layer, how you cut in, how you cut out. Oh, it just goes on, doesn't it, John? Uh, it, it really does. It really does. So what I'm going to do is... Just going to grab a piece of the gold card of the scraps. I'm going to want. I want to put some corners on. Okay. And again, I want to show you the corners. But one of the things to do with the corners is, when you're cutting these to go on a project, don't waste the waste. Ah. Oh. Right. Because I tend to look at everything yeah. when I'm designing it to say, is the shape it's going to cut out pretty on its own? So, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to cut this piece of gold card down to just four inches square, just using my mini guillotine. And then I'm going to, so instead of just cutting them, this is, could be a scrap of card, all I'm going to do is place one on each corner. And I have got, and I've just realised now that I've been quite naughty. What have you done, John? Somehow I've managed to get my, I've got two sets of these. <gasps> Well, that's just greedy. It is. I've got a feeling, obviously, <laughs> one of the angels didn't get a set of um, oh, no. corners from oh. the samples and I had it. Sorry. 
If whoever it is, let me know. <laughs> I've got an extra set and I haven't bought an extra set, well, so I don't deserve one. Rocky uh, Rocky got got theirs because look how many corners are on that card and it's beautiful. So it wasn't Rocky. Right. So all I've done, <laughs> I put them on every corner. Yeah, really simple. Put one on every corner. I'm just gonna cut that. Now, rather than wasting, to me, it seems silly to waste a scrap of card. And again, if you saw the sample that Mrs. Duck did, where oh, she the... cut them together and it actually looked like you've got holly. So there oh, I've just seen that one. Where have I put it? Actually, there it is. Yeah. This is so, so clever. So the card that Catherine's got here is just the corners cut and she's coloured the waist That's pretty so carefully. Clever. And look, that to me does genuinely look like a holly lattice. It does, doesn't it? I think that's beautiful, stunning. absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to do a process of elimination now with everybody's to names see who, to see who's the, not used corners. Who's missing the corners? <laughs> so Barbara's all I'm going right. to do She's got hers. is just take these off. But you can see now how the corner cuts, and this is in a foiled linen card. So they've cut, but you get a circle in the centre. Yeah, that's lovely. So if I hold this one up, you can see. Now there, to me, I could actually take the pieces from the Mayfield and actually bind that together. Yeah. So I could actually make that, put the frame around it, and I've got a completely different shape and look. Definitely. Just from using the corners. So you want to use those cleverly. So when the corners come out, because they're so fine, you will find the bits will sit in the die. And yeah. as you said earlier, this is the bit I enjoy of cleaning bits out like that. But you see, every little bit will come out still. Because I would question, personally, when, if I saw dies this fine, are they going to work? Yeah. And you would. Yeah, you because would. Because you, you think, you know that, they, you know, that fine don't cut. So I didn't do anything. I didn't shim it, didn't do anything special. But you can see there how fine they are on a foiled card. Again, which we know is one of the hardest to cut. But again, you could circle them round and make a sort of mandala with them. Definitely. So I've got four of those corners. There's many, many clever ways that the corners have been used, actually. And I can see what you, you've popped out those little bits of waste. And even the little bits of waste, which aren't really waste, have been used here, look, as well. So look at those, those little fallout pieces as well. Very, very busy, continuously busy on the one-day special. Almost three quarters of the stock has gone. Remember, this is a double launch. We've still got another half an hour, or oh, thereabouts, of this actual launch. But uh, you're loving this, and I'm not surprised. Oh, you've got your power right. tape, John. So I have got my power tape. I love my power tape. I mean, this is the thing we've said before. That shouldn't happen, should it? No, the back coming off so easily. Without it, when pulling I do the tape that, as well. That should rip the tape off. Yeah. It has done every other time I've every other tape I've used. So you can see now why I'm so pleased we were able to bring it, although I think it I'm not, not sure if it's sold out again. Um, oh, I'm sure it'll be back again. We just can't say at the we moment. We can't say can when we? at the moment because it comes into us again. Yeah. We have it made for us um, over in Europe. So I'm just gonna put the box piece together just so that we've got the actual... So I can start to put this together. There we go. John, I think we might have some Ooh, power tape left. Have you? I think Katie's just found some. We're going to find it for everybody. If you want the power tape, be very... Oh, this is such a good buy. Oh, look what you're getting here. You are getting 3 mil, 6 mil, and 2 of the 9 mil as well. 40 metres in total, £9.98 pence. John, I remember you saying last week that one, was it an inch, will hold... No, one centimetre, one centimetre will hold 1.2 kilos. Ridiculous, but it's true. And the item number is there, 641038. Grab that while you can. I don't think we've got much stock, but if you want that, get it now. Yeah, I think we put everything we could onto that show for you. So I've just put it together. You can see how pretty the Mayfield frame is when we threaded the ribbon through. So you can see there really the ribbon through pretty. it. I've taken the piece I've made from earlier and I'm just going to pop that. You see how it fits exactly in the centre? If I hold that one up, you can see. Oh, it's lovely. How that offsets. But you can see what I mean about that circle yeah. working with the circle from the corners. Yeah. So I'm just going to close up the box so that I've got that done. And then we'll actually decorate it with the flowers that we've just made and 
Now you're brave, taking the backing off all of the tape in one go. I, it works on this. I don't know why, because it really? doesn't... It, I does don't it, know. I've does always it stick done until you it want it to tape. stick? It sticks where I want it to stick. And that really holds. And that's it. I mean, that's that's fit and really seriously holds. Well, what I'll do is I'll put it on the card with that. Yeah. Which you wouldn't normally do. I'd normally use a wet glue. So, of course, I'm now going to start using and just using the pieces from the die. So, we've cut the frame from the die from yeah. the Mayfield using the middle section. We've used that background piece again that's in the Mayfield, cut it from the white piece. We've set the gold onto it. We've then cut a gold centre with the circle in the die. So, this is all still working with the Mayfield. OK, I've then got a white piece, which is the shape, yeah, which is next. Yeah. And it gives you, it tells you how to match it up. Can you see one, the lines? Oh, yes, the, the points, points match yeah. the line. I made sure it's symmetrical so that you can, that is bang in the centre. Yeah. Because I've matched point, 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 yeah, we can point. Yeah, see that. Try and make things easy, not for other people, but for me. Yeah, to Do be know, honest. John, I'm looking at this as well, this, this box that you've created so far with the beautiful ribbon. How lovely would it be for a new baby as well? You Ooh, know, you could theme the ribbon it with... It would, you could match the ribbon into yeah, it. Yeah, we shouldn't really say pink and blue because it can be whatever colour you could. want. It could. You could actually put a, a little, little picture photo, of the baby in the yeah, circle in the middle. The, and the time bomb, the yeah. weight. Oh, you, you really could go to town. So just using, again, all the pieces I from like the Mayfield. That. But you see... How that centre so you've offset that one have you with that sorry have you offset that final no, layer it's just, it just oh it's just because of the depth that gives you that illusion depth, because i can have all those layers of foam tape oh, wow. because i've done it in the box yeah wow. and it allows you then to put your flowers in so here i've got a bow that i've made okay which obviously matches the ribbon that's matching threaded the through ribbon the that you've tied through so i'm just going to take again I'm going to use the power tape because I struggle enormously to get a bow to stick in. But again, watch on the, on the ribbon. Do you know, that is, do you know, I know exactly what John's saying. I've done it so many times myself. You pull the that back pull off, off, the ribbon. off the red liner, whatever tape, and the tape comes away as well. It doesn't yeah. stay where it's meant to do. Oh, that is so pretty. But that is fixed. And then what I've done is I've cut here the foliage, so the matching leaves. Yeah. Yeah. So I've cut those in gold and white. So I've got, and again, these are designed so that you can put them over the top of each other. Yes. So if I wanted to, I could get this white plane here, take the matching gold and pop it exactly yeah. on top. And again, you could pipe glossy accents or glitter or anything into oh, those gaps. Could. But I quite like to use them separately because it gives me more scope in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So again, I'm going to take a little bit of power tape. Okay. It's like having a glue dot that works, if that makes sense. Now, I'm just going to say, while you're sticking that down as well, John, a very good evening here from the UK to our American friends and our European friends as well. We know you're watching, so it's lovely to have you on board. Uh, thank you for joining us. Of course, everybody in the UK, double launch. If you missed five o'clock, that's because it was double launch. It started at five. You can catch on Rewind. But, you know, everyone is just loving the one day special. I didn't doubt it, but this is literally flying out as well. John, you've just put the power tape... So I've just put a little bit of power tape on. It's like having... You remember when we used to use glue dots to glue our flowers on? Yeah. And then two days later they'd fall off? Yeah. This is like having glue dots that work. Look at... You see how much... Yeah. Pull. I mean, I can pick that whole thing up there like that. I just on the edge of my finger. You could still put your foils and your glitter on the tape yeah, as well? Yeah, exactly what you would... Anything you would normally do, you can do but it allows me to sort of fill them into this box and really, to me, go to town. And all I'm actually going to do on this, I was going to put loads of... So I'm going to stack one flower on. OK. So that one is going to need a little bit of more tape on it. OK. So, and I find this is so much easier. It seems crazy to be using tape, but I have the confidence in it. Yeah. Whereas before, I don't. So let's yeah, take that off. Yeah, you'd use a glue for sure, wouldn't you, yeah. before? So I'm going to put one flower in. I'm then going to, and what I did with all of the flowers, they were designed so they could be separate, but I've also designed them so that each one is a few millimetres smaller than the previous. Oh, so they sit perfectly together so when you lay them. So they sit perfectly together and you can stack them. Let's just get 
I need a little bit more glue pads. Do you know that I'm is using. a really good point, John, because it's flat. something a lot of people would never even think about. Because if the centres were all the same size yeah. and your layers were getting smaller, you'd be losing petal to the spate in the middle for one thing. Yeah. But they wouldn't sit the same, would they? No, but what I've done is I've actually sized these so that they will all fit exactly. So, but I've done them, they can, so they'll, they will all actually match into match. So if you don't want a big selection of flowers, we can have that sort of single flower going in there. Yeah. And what I actually like doing on this in the centre is using one of the really tiny ones. Oh. So I could use, I, I need a white one. I've got the little tiny I? ones. So you've got the little tiny ones that will follow on, but I can use one of the little tiny ones exactly again in the centre. And because I've got the glue, I can glue there. Yeah. Yeah. And not too much glue because you've got the fine tip applicator. Yeah. So I can put that into there. But I'm actually, you know, trying to glue far too much. I should have actually used the power tape, to be honest. Yeah, in between each layer, so it would instant grab. Yeah. So again, I can add a few little leaves in and get it in the right way. But it's trying to tie it all together. Oh, that's pretty. Now the leaves are overlapping the frame as well. Just works. And Love again, it. then I've brought in here, I've got made just because it because I can I've been making smaller and smaller cards and it's this collection that I made so that you can make five inch cards I found myself matting and layering loads Do you know, I think when you get the dies home from the one day special that full collection there you are going to want to use everything you want to go into play you want to sort of test out the different options but I think once you get going <laughs> you're not gonna, you, you're, you're gonna lose time basically aren't you you're not gonna want to come away from it you're not no I think that I didn't and that's the scary thing I kept playing I was still this morning there's a card in yellow and black along oh, one made in one. yellow and black it. with oh, pearlized flowers on it I actually made that this morning oh, I know where it because is, I, I where couldn't it is. stop and you know you don't do any samples on the morning you're about to set off for the show but I made oh, that this, this morning Wow another completely different way of using the dies as well love how that's been extended oh th there is so many amazing ideas here and every color scheme works as well john that looks so striking in the black and yellow it re uh, to white, me it really it? does work it really has a, a strength that i wouldn't have expected um, wow. so i'm just going to finish this off because if you if you look at it at the minute so again that box and all that weight is attached on with the power tape yeah and that makes it so i mean again just to just to annoy Chris, How but watch. How pretty is that? It's only got two pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's that is stunning. That is it. That is on. You've yeah. only lost your leaves out your wet glue, John, because obviously that needs time to oh, work, course, yes. to dry. So we'll stick another one in just in case. I know. Where, Where have they gone? It's underneath your card. It's probably stuck to the card it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, thank you, Catherine. <laughs> well, when I've got something that works... Well, it's got glue on it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're used to that from your moulds, aren't you? Oh. But if you see, the gold doesn't quite work out to the edge of this card, love does it. it? So, this is where corners come oh, in. Oh, I'd forgotten about the corners. Yeah. So, just give them a spray against the screen. Yeah. Because it's easier. But once I put the corners in, can you see? Oh, wow. Suddenly, to me, that gold from the centre comes out. They are so fine, those corners, John. They're almost like those stickers. They are. That we used I mean, to you, get with the corners. You, you where everybody really loved the corners. Yeah. Can you imagine But now you can cut whatever colour you want. Yeah. And how expensive yeah. were the sticker corners like that. Yeah. But you can see then, when I put those corners in, how it brings the colours that together. That is just... I thought it was beautiful before, but that is the finishing touch for sure. And one pass for those corners, you're getting four corners in that die set, along with everything else in the one day special, 19 dies in total. What a stunning, stunning project that is. Oh, and you can create the same. And just changing the colours in there is going to be, you know, give you a different look every single time. £39.96, two payments of 19 98 It's going to get you those 19 dies. We have got samples galore around the studio. I know there's more under the counter as well. Um, do you know what? Just showing you again. This is where it all started, really, with Julie's card. 
with this idea with the box but look at the stunning ribbon threaded through here as well but you don't have to thread the ribbon through as we've seen I'm just going to bring it back in again because it's close to hand but that sample I've just shown you that John put together this morning no ribbon threaded at all but it doesn't take away from the effect it's just beautiful the clever use of the corners just the corners are being used there but look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful and then you know creating those flowers those fuchsias with flowers as well and one here of this one the blue the yellow again um general i just keep finding more and more and more this is very pretty this is one of leslie's let me just show you another one where no ribbon has been used but how pretty is that such gorgeous colors again and then this one ribbon has been used look threaded through beautiful just beautiful but two payments it it's stunning it's on yeah the diamond oh angle. this is clever oh that's clever i didn't show that one earlier did i either look at that using those center die cuts another one here as well actually this is clever another one of barbara's uh leslie was it leslie who did that blue one that was maxine who did the blue one there we are look not clever so straight away i'm thinking gift tags as well to go with your cards and your gift bags but that is lovely over the top and attached to the card as well beautiful do you know we've been so so busy 225 842 is the item number if you're going for the one day special anything else you're adding into your basket you and split the payment but we do have other collections when it comes to the ears ink and of course the press cut dies as well that have also got your flexi payments on we've got so we've got i think it's the press cut we've got three on so do you know you might be able to split three ways john we've got a little bit of time left right. what else can you show Should us? we do something really really quick and small yeah, yeah, go on then. Because I've showed you a really large card. So all I'm going to do now is just check the measurement because I'm a nightmare for not remembering four inches. So I've cut a card. I've cut a piece of navy blue card okay. simply down to four inches. Yeah. So I'm just going to. I'm making a card that's effectively like a four and a half inch. But again, with this, you could make it four inches square. Yeah. As four inch square card. So what I'm going to do is cut this detail. Now remember, I said before. When we're cutting that detail, there's a lot on there. Never hurts to add a little bit of a shim. Okay. It's, to me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Definitely. I mean, if your machine is brand new, um, which I'm, I've had some really good news, because on Saturday's show, the machine sold out, and I asked if I could buy one, because I've got four of them, but my one at home is two years old, and I thought it's maybe time to, to run it Did out. Did you manage to get and one before they sold out? Sold out? No. Oh, no, um, John. But I think they might have found me one. <gasps> so I feel very naughty, but I'll let everyone know if we do and when they're, when they're coming back, if I can find out. But again, depending on your machine yeah. and everything else, but it never hurts. You can see through that everything's cut. So it's worth checking on the back. Yeah, before you move that. Before you move it, yeah. just check. You're, you can see. You can see the metal coming through. You can. And there is always a trick which I keep meaning to show, and I show sometimes and don't. There's a little area that hasn't. I had a lady once, it's only ever once that a lady's brought a die to me, and it's actually by a, a completely different company. It's not, you know, fair to say it's a few years ago. She couldn't get it to cut, and this is the only time I'd never got a die to cut. There's one little area I couldn't get it to cut. And always I have, there's always yeah. a way. There's always something we're doing wrong. Um, and I couldn't on this one, and this was the trick I came out with. What you do is rub a pair of scissors or something metal on the back, yes. and it'll just finish it off. Yeah. So if you ever find, if you've got a die with that little stubborn area that never yep. seems... This was like a little curl in a gate. Ah. And that, so we came, I came up with that one, and that, that's how we solved it in the end. But again... But you see all that detail we Look get. Look at that. Beautifully. Look at that. But that, to me, it's, it's almost, it's, it's enough. Again, you could almost take this design, put a circle and a, an outline die with it and sell that as a separate die. You but that's not the way that, yeah, I, you know, I like to put as most as possible. It's such a pretty delicate die by itself, John, that one. But as you've shown us with that first sample there, the more layers you put together, you know, put it into a box, adding those other elements, it still looks delicate, but you've got something really substantial at the end of it. Yeah, you don't have to go OTT. Yeah, you don't have to go to that point where, you know, I like to make, I love to make little cards, I love to make big mantelpiece pleasers, as Alex calls them. 
you know, the old yeah. viewers says, oh, that's a real mantelpiece, yeah, please. But we need to have, I, like I think that. the products that we're using need to basically be able to do both of those for us, all the different options. So oh. just clean those bits off. 80% of the one day special has now gone, I've got to tell you as well. Um, and as soon as John's using his vacuum, don't forget you can find those as well. Different item numbers for the pink to the blue. And you've got a choice of either. I know they were busy, actually, on the earlier show as well, so if you do want yours, remember, if you clean up after you've been die-cutting, any of those little off-cuts, those little um, cut-out pieces, fall-away pieces, if you get them on your plates, then they will mark your card. You don't want that. 9 99 for the blue one, 197021. Different details for the pink. We'll change those over. So you have got the choice. Go for one of each if you like. Item number 755659 for the pink one, and John uses his all of the time. Such a lovely little Right, invention. so I'm just running through the centrepiece, but I was going to, going to show you this while I'm doing it. Is You know when you sometimes get these little... It's almost like a hangnail. You get little bits yeah. at the back of your die that stick, and you have to pick them up and pull them off. Yeah. Don't. Use your glue eraser. Ah! It's another trick I found while doing the samples for this show. Um... If you use your glue eraser on the back, oh, I've never heard takes of, them I've off heard anybody, let alone you without so ripping your card. Oh, how can you see? We find these little tricks all the time, don't we? We do, and I think it's trying to remember to pass them on. So you know when you have the little chads, that's they call hanging chads in America, yeah. aren't they? But when you get like that one there, you can I don't know if you can see that. But normally you would tear that, you would pick yeah, it and tear yeah, it off. You don't and you tear, tear the, the surface card. of your no. card. You use your glue eraser oh, how clever. to take it off. Wow. So, what I've cut now is I've taken a piece of white, just standard white. This is actually 250 GSM stamping card yeah. I use. But I've taken the circle from the Mayfield and I've taken the detail. So, this is a different way to use this detail die. Ah, so you cut it into the circle rather so than I can cutting cut the whole it, shape it has out. no outside line. Yeah. So I can cut it into the circle. Now, normally, in normal times, I would pass this over to you to pick these bits out for me, wouldn't I, while I get the next bit ready? You would. But and we keep we can't we do, do that, that at the moment. We can't. We're just not allowed, are we, unfortunately? No. So, again, see, bits on the back. Do you know, I'm going to pinch that. that is so, it is, I mean, it was just a discovery, and I thought, whoa, that's, you know, that's useful. That is useful. But, again, any sort of, any chads... It'll just take them off. It's a glue eraser that does it, though. Yeah. Normal, a normal eraser won't. won't do I nearly it. said the R word then. My mum would go mad if I ever. That's an eraser. <laughs> I was never allowed to, um, to, to, to call it the other word. And I would get shouted at. So, all I'm going to do is quick glue spray into the okay. box that I pretend to have down here. Yep. So, the piece I cut the middle out from, yep. Yeah. I'm going to put that on. Okay. Oh, straight away, look at that. Love but it. Look how suddenly one die cut and that pops, yeah? Oh. So I'll hold it up and you can see how that pops. That's lovely. Just on that. Take the middle, pop that in. Spend a little bit more time making sure you get that in the centre. Just a little bit of foam tape and I've just got a card blank that I've four and a half inches that I've matted with a piece of blue and then a piece of white. I'm just going to oh, stick John, that one on that and we're gorgeous. done. That is gorgeous. Look at that. And if you wanted a tiny little sentiment on there, you could, or again, a little bow or one of the flowers, but, you know, just as it is. Do you know, I would make a whole box of those in different colours and make kind of those um, thank you cards and just do all the different colours so I can see how everything looks and then use it or nice gift it. Nice idea. Gift it. I think the thing is, as well, if you make little cards like that, you can make them in lots of different colours. Yeah. But if you do sell your cards and your crafts, you're not going to get £7, £8 for a card. I'm sorry, it doesn't happen. Yeah. But if you put sets of fives and sixes together, you get a lot more for them. Very a true. box Good of five point. and six mini cards will Very sell for true. far better than one of the big ones we've taken hours on. 
Another good tip from John there. Well, what a busy launch we've had. Over 80% of the one-day special has gone. We sold out of the Mandala kit that was on a limited edition. Can't get that back. Uh, you know, you are buying in your droves. There is another hour tonight with John. She oh, we're working him hard tonight. Eight o'clock. John and Janice will be here. Stay with me, though. Much more to see from John. If you've got any questions for John as well, do email in studio at uh, You know, it's not just the one-day special. We've got the Prescott dies with the is ink as well. That's been very, very very busy the vacuums as well do not miss out on those bundles with the embossing folders when they've gone they've gone we've got some real bargains if you didn't see it early find them on the website john i've got to say massive thank you once again i've so enjoyed these two hours no it's, thank you it's i've gone really enjoyed it. it's been really nice to have that long run to actually go through each stage it does mean i'm sorry for people at home they've got to watch two hours but do you know, it just right. shows what you can achieve with a wonderful one day special like we've got and we've only scratched the very, very surface as well. Well, please stay with me. I'm going over to another set now because I've got another hour to do and then John, John will be back with Janice, of course. Uh, we're back with Elle's next as well. That was a busy show earlier. I'll give you the menu coming up now. See you soon. <laughs>